Hey everyone, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on the latest videos. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. In today's episode, we are covering the third episode of 10 Common and Crazy Things People Ask the Blind. Let's get to it. Question one, what do you do or what can the blind do for fun? I myself like doing videos like this one. I like listening to music, um, playing uh, board games with family, going to concerts, going to movies. There, there's a lot of different things people can do when they're blind. Um, I'm also a craftsman. I like working with my hands and making things. Number two, what is a good gift for a blind person? Um, there's really no specific good gift or what I would per se say would be there's no specific good gift for a blind person because we all have our own likes and dislikes, so it's best to ask the person that you're considering getting something for what they're interested in. If they're interested in audiobooks, if they're interested in music, if they're into movies, it's just better to ask that specific person what their type of hobby or fun is or something even that they might need that they don't have that might be something you could could do for a gift number three do blind people enjoy life well i don't know that's uh, uh that's one of them individual things again for the most part i would like to say that we majority of the time do enjoy life but there are some days where we get depressed and emotional just like everybody else number four is traveling boring for you no not really with what little bit of sight i do have left i enjoy traveling because it gives me an opportunity to see places that i may not have been before or see beautiful sunsets or going to like a national park or something like that that I've never been to that whether I get to see a lot up close or whether I get to see animals or anything like that just the experience to be somewhere out of the normal is an adventure number five what is using alcohol or drugs like for you? Well, alcohol, I can tell you, I haven't had a drop in going on seven years now. And it was seldom when I did drink. And when I did drink, it made things a lot harder to do. When you are legally blind, and already have a mobility issue with walking from one area to another with a sighted person or with your cane it don't matter the increase of difficulty depending on how inebriated you are depends on how more likely you are to hurt yourself or someone else around you because you were incapable of walking properly as far as drugs don't do drugs it's not cool i can say though that i do medicate and i advocate for responsible use it 
it helps me, but that's all I'm going to say on that particular subject right now. Number six. Can blind people be less shallow than sighted people because we cannot see? No. Blind people can be just as shallow as everybody else. Number seven. Can blind people be racist? Yes. Just because we cannot see does not mean that we cannot be abrasive towards others based on race because of things that may have happened or may not have happened specifically to us or anything like that. But yes, blind people can be racist as well. Okay, what is legally blind? Legally blind means that you either have really bad depth perception in the sense that whatever somebody like you sees at 200 feet, a blind person has to see it at 20 feet. Or they have extreme tunnel vision. Um... There, there's a multitude of levels of different type of blindness because of the different types of eye diseases and different eye conditions. But the best way to put it is whatever you can see at 200 feet, a blind person could possibly see it at 20 feet or less. In my case, less. Um, also speaking on the sense of what is legally blind, 15% statistically speaking is the approximation of how many people are fully blind compared to everybody else. 15% total blindness, 85% have some sensation of sight. May not be good, but it's some sensation of sight. Number 10. Can blind people see black? Again, this goes back kind of the legal blindness situation because it depends on what type of blindness you're trying to get at. If you're going for the 100% blind, I can't specifically state on it because I was not born 100% blind. Uh, my grandfather was blind for 67 years of his life and he said that he could see black. I can see black. Um, but to be 100% blind and not see anything, I don't per se believe that they would understand the concept of black without being able to actually see it. They're only going to understand darkness. There's nothing there. That's it. At least that's how I would perceive it. If you're blind, 100%, I'd like to have you answer this in the comments if you can please and thank you thanks for watching consult the blind guy guys and i hope to see you next time please give a like if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on the latest videos hit the bell icon so you can make sure you get all notifications from this channel also check the description and i'll have some links below to some other videos that may interest you as well as other channels and pages that I operate on Facebook as well as here on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.